All right, here we are today on Sunday in the shop, I'm getting ready to do a carrier bearing uh, insert on this Tureg. This is my Tureg, and this is what I'm installing. So we have the JXB Performance bushings, we have the track bushings, we have the street bushings, and we have this this new carrier right here uh, i bought the one that has both street and track bushings <clears throat> i'm not sure if i'm going to run the street bushings or the track bushings just yet there's supposed to be some difference in uh the rubber material used on these the, the street bushings are slightly softer than the track bushings. Now, I don't know how much difference that actually makes in the car, but this is what we're putting on. And we're going to go ahead and get started doing this. Now, I watched their install video on how to put this in. So, I'm going to try it that way and see if there's a, what I feel like is a better way to do it. So, we'll move over here to the car. Now, what we're getting ready to cut is this piece. So this piece is gonna get removed. We have to cut it so we can spin it and open up the case, take it off, and remove the rubber portion inside and then clamp on the new carrier. So the way they described doing it was to cut it here and here so you can roll this over. So what we're gonna to try to do is see if there might be just a little bit easier way if we just go ahead and split it in half right here and are able to take it off or do we actually need to cut it here and here according to their video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that right now. So in their video, they used an air saw. Uh, what I'm gonna to try to use is a cutoff wheel and go ahead and cut this. So I'm not sure this is gonna work out quite as well because the cutoff wheel need the angles a little bit different on it and um, it's gonna make it a little more challenging to get in here. So let me start cutting and see where it goes.
here we are we've we've cut this in half and let's see if it comes out easier than what they showed on the video Now it does seem like this is going to work out, but it's still kind of a pain because you have to spread it out a little bit in order to kind of get this to operate like a clamshell and be able to get this all free. So while it can be done this way, it may not be the best way to do it the way that I'm doing it. Because you're still gonna have to get this to spread out to come off. So basically this thing operates like a very large snap ring at this point. So there's the outer part of the carrier off. Now the next step is to remove this outer ring here. And then some of the rubber inside. And then we can put on the new carrier.
So for this, we will need a nice sharp blade. And then we'll remove that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is remove this inner layer here of this soft rubber. So that's gonna be kind of the hard part with gloves on. So I had to do gloves off so I can feel what I'm doing, but also gonna to have to be a little more careful because knives are sharp. Basically, when this is all done, these should fit around this carrier. 
like that. But we still got a couple layers of rubber to take off. And then we'll be able to put these on. going to possibly be 
Now, according to the install instructions, these work much better with the groove towards the rear on your Q7 and Toregs. So then this should fit right in here. And we bolt it all together, bolt it into the truck, and uh, we should be finished. Now this carrier goes in like this with the letters towards the front. So we'll go ahead and do it that way. The letters towards the front, the groove, groove in the rubber goes towards the rear. So this should sit just like this. This goes around this piece like that. Then the bottom half goes on. Now these should get just a tiny bit of thread locker on them. But for right now, I'm not doing that just yet because this is so far just a test fit to make sure everything lines up. Seems like it fits in there real nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, bolt down the body of this and then take out one bolt at a time, put thread locker on them and uh, then take it for a test drive. Now these bolts have big rubber isolators and washers. So it's got a rubber isolator and a large washer that go through the bottom of this. And then another rubber isolator that sits here on top. And then it goes through this 
top and bottom isolator with another washer. And then the bolt starts. Same thing with the other side. Rubber isolator, rubber isolator, st uh, stepped bolt with a big washer on the bottom. And we go ahead and get that pushed through. And then we'll tighten up these bolts. Now we are going to do these by hand because, well, there's a torque spec on this and they go through rubber isolators. So I don't really need to have this over tightened and damage any of the bushings. So now that we've got them snug down, now we'll put a torque wrench to it. There we are, pour it down. So there we are installed about 30 minutes That's about all this job took for me to do in a shop though. So with proper tools, you could definitely have this done in an afternoon, even in your own driveway. Uh, it's not that hard to do. And all you need is a cutoff wheel or some sort of saw to cut the little carrier in half, a very sharp box knife to go ahead and cut the rubber surround off of the bearing and then you can bolt this thing in and you're good so anyway i hope you found this informative or enjoyable or both and if you did go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it with your friends and uh, let me know in the comments what else you would like to see done thanks